Here is the video for proper playing posture for violin and viola. Uh, here I am in resting position, left hand on the neck of the violin or viola, placed on my left thigh. My music stand would be here. I can do all kinds of stuff. I can reach over and get my bow there, which I'll do in a second. Uh, I am scooted away from the back of the chair uh, fairly far. I'll turn a little bit so that we can see that here. So I'm seated this way. Up straight, notch in lower back, etc., etc. And now I will transition to playing position. Violin comes up, rests on shoulder, facing forward this way. Wrist should not collapse. The expression for this is no squished tomatoes, as though you're trying to pin something between your hand and the violin. So your wrist should always be straight and or curved out that way, not this way. This is never okay. Elbow. There is space between my elbow and my torso. This is not okay. Right? And then my jaw, the side of my jaw, goes on this jaw rest. Sometimes called a chin rest. It's a little bit of a misnomer. You don't put your chin on it, otherwise it would be in front of you. Uh, you should practice holding the violin. It's kind of hard to talk when you do this. But holding the violin with your jaw. That's pretty good. Uh, while your hands are free, so I can do stuff, right? Uh, you may also want to put a cloth or a handkerchief here to make it a little bit softer against your face. So, uh, in plain position, violin is there, jaw on the jaw rest, straight wrist, space here. Then this hand comes across and I can play pizzicato. That is proper playing position for pizzicato. I'm looking this way, my music would be here. I'm not looking at my hand, right? And then with the bow, I'd come over here and grab the bow. Bow in, get my good bow hold here. There's my violin bow hold, which is always difficult for me because I'm not a violinist. And now I will play the open strings. Right, and using the whole bow, you want to make sure that the bow is always perpendicular to the string. The tendency is to kind of do this. Uh, I'll come up and do a little close up. Here I'll play a G major scale. And so forth. Uh, when bowing, the bow should always be perpendicular to the strings and between the edge of the fingerboard and the bridge, right? Never up here and never at an angle, right? Having the bow at an angle is no good at all.